Hi everybody, welcome to Reality Buzz TV where we talk about all things reality TV shows and all things reality TV show stars. So I want to talk about the second part of the craziness of Temba's family uh, visiting um, Paul's family because they are claiming that they're very concerned about the baby and they want to see the baby and that Timba wants to see the baby, but Timba is not even with them. Okay. So I just want to talk about that. I think this was the uh, finale episode for this season. It felt that way. I didn't check, but it did feel like it's a finale episode. And I have to say thank you to Paul because honestly, she was the highlight of the show. Her coming back to the show was like it just brought life to the show and also on mobile i hate it because they didn't go back to mobile in this episode just for us to see her wrap things up a little bit when it comes to what's going to be uh, happening with her and Mpo and her babies and also for us to just see the baby her cute babies at uh, one last time but uh yeah we didn't see that but it did feel like it was you know, Timber even prayed at the end. Listen, you guys, I'm going to say this again. My issue with Timber's family is that they don't hold Timber accountable, you know, and they defend uh, Timber uh, like blind people. They don't uh, correct him. They don't hold him accountable. I feel like... Uh, even though Temba is saying she has tried to reach him, she has tried to go and see the baby. Somebody needs to ask him the specifics. Like, you've tried. Like, how have you have you tried? Because I think it would have been different. Imagine if Temba just went to Paul's um, home without the cameras and just said, can I please see my baby? Is there no possibility that the results will be different. Like the ending that day will be different if he just did that. Now and then he just went and did that. Like that would be the the um, way to show that you really desperately want to see your child. Instead of when the cameras are around, you call him poor and you try and show us the screen what you're calling poor and she's not picking up. That's, that's you trying to see your baby or writing a post on social media. So Temba is not convincing me. Also, the fact that Tema doesn't see the babies that he had, he is allowed to see very much. He's not spending time with them. There is the complaint can mobile. So it's like, if you're not really making time for the babies that you're allowed to see, should we really be uh, supporting you to fight to see that other baby over there? Okay. So that is my issue with the same, and that is my issue with the family. And also, guys, so many people going to see that baby. Not a single person brought anything. <laughs> like nothing. Like nothing. Not a blanket. Not a plastic was a pep. A plastic was a comment. A plastic was a Mr. Price or something. A plastic was a checkers or something. Part of no meat cold drink or something. So that they can just ask themselves, so why did she bring a cold drink? Something. The whole family came, the, the, the three aunts, the uh, Ukazini, the, the uncle, is it the uncle? So many people, nobody thought, go to Ibo, guys, we are going to see the baby for the first time. Baby pet, baby nga pet a loot. Nothing. Ibo, that family. I'm like, hey, no, man. Even though I do feel a little bit sometimes that Paul's family is also doing too much, but I just feel like, hey, but I. But if family got time, man, I bet I lose. Okay, not even like a loaf of bread or something. I know that the, the babe doesn't eat uh, bread yet. There's just something, okay? Instant porridge or something. Who be easy? Ah, guys, they, they could even bring pampers, you know? They didn't bring anything. I That's another thing. So, in this part, you guys, finally, Umagampo allows them to come in. Uh, she sits them at uh, the garage and uh, they start talking. Okay, I guess she decided she's not going to have these people at, <laughs> inside her house. And it just gets loud and they're arguing. And I, I, I feel like if the aunt took 
you know the the auntie that was wearing the green dress you know the the auntie got temper that we see all the time if she went there with the aunt with the green dress and leave georgina and leave the cousin and leave the uncle i think it might have went it would have it would have gone differently i think so because she's the only one that was you know uh trying to make sure that things are calm and instead of uh them defending Temba and then the other side is defending Paul. She was trying to say, okay, can we just get to a place where we don't talk about the past and talk about what we came here for, which is that we want to see the baby, okay? Now, you guys, when they sit down, they are being asked, they say, okay, they start saying, again, what, 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 in the end. I do wonder though, you guys, because um, I don't think that Utemba has ever said that the baby is not his. Maybe some people will correct me. Maybe he has. And I do feel like it's not. Um, if the father has said, uh, has, and then if Abaguba they are saying, or where to. I don't think it's a good thing for it. again. I went away. Okay, away in particular. What have you done? You know what I mean? Like I didn't feel like it. It should. It's something that should be argued. But the thing is, I guess Utemba is just not a present father, and he really can't be present because Mpo won't allow him, even if he wanted to. But we don't know because we don't know if he really wants to. So, anyway, you guys. M Paul's mother says that there is, there was a time when U U Utemba said, you know, or wished that on a child. And they are saying Temba never said that. Apparently somebody had told M Paul's mom that Temba had said that. One thing about, you know, when you're having a fight with somebody and people know what you are fighting, people will bring you, you know, lies. So there are people that will be happy that you guys are not getting along. So people will start just saying things and then you will start believing those things because you are so upset at the other person. Okay. So the aunt really was trying to say, can we not talk about this in Dozakdala? But Mpo's mom was like, listen, but we are hurt. I do feel like she's hurt, you guys. I'm not sure if Mpo's mom has ever liked Utemba because uh, maybe I would understand the hurt if i understood that maybe there was a time where she really liked and accepted utemba i didn't watch that part of them i i don't remember seeing the interaction so i don't know but she sounds like she is just as hurt as her daughter was you guys but i also felt like i do feel like if um if i'm hurt my mother gets hurt with me ne? But my mother is always in a mother position all the time, you know, even when you want her to take a break, she doesn't. <laughs> so I feel like with my mother, she would definitely let those people in and she would definitely convince me to let the people hold the baby. And she might still express the fact that she's disappointed and she's angry and she doesn't like that the fact that they've come and then they've come with the cameras. But her position as a mom to be like at the end of the day, the right thing is she will still hold that. And that's a thing that I didn't feel that like composed mom was doing, which is like, can we handle this situation? You know, even though she's so hurt. So... But at the same time, it's like, I understand, you know, like when you don't trust people, you know, you don't know what they, like when people don't like you, you guys, it's difficult to understand that they like you, your children. Because when people don't like you, you know that they know that if they can do something to your child, then that will hurt you, you know. So in a way, when somebody doesn't like you, it makes sense to keep your children away from them because they can use their access to your children to hurt you. So it's like, I kind of understand um, Paul when she says, listen, you're not even going to hold this baby because she doesn't like them. She doesn't trust them. So she doesn't know what they might do. And also, you know, <laughs> uh, so part of, there was a part of me that wished that she let them uh, hold the baby, but I was like, oh, 
but hey, you know, sometimes you think about it, they're not gonna do anything. Usa and then I need to see high is a because Konumuto be to be what what is and what I'm being a now, you know. So part of me, I was understanding, and part of for peace sake, I was like, if she just let them hold the baby, but I was like, but that's her baby, you know. <laughs> so I was like up and down with it, to be honest with you guys. So, and then uh, when I'm poor, because when they started talking, poor was not around. So later on, she comes in and then there's another auntie I'm poor who brought the, the child. Well, she didn't bring the child for them. She just had the child with her because they didn't let them hold the child. So Georgina started saying like clean names for the child. Okay. Which I'm poor was upset about because how can you uh, call it? Here. I was trying to think, is there something wrong with that if you are in somebody else's house and you're calling clean names for the other side? I don't know. I, I was like, I'm not sure, but I guess I get her point a little bit. But then with her, I guess anything that Tamba's family was doing at this point, whatever that they were doing was just an irritation for her at this point because she didn't understand why they're there. She's saying, after eight months, why wouldn't you come? She even said, they were saying the same thing. What? If I um Paul's aunt had come, you know, without the cameras, they would have let her in. Uh, but the the family got him by saying, would say, apparently there was a time when Paul's mom said that she was going to throw hot water on the boiling water on them, so they were scared. That's why they're coming with the cameras. Okay, but Paul is clear to say, Anki Bafu ni lavantu lava. The only person that I would allow to see the child is Paul's grandmother. You know, not them. So with you guys, I'm not going to let you hold the baby. So that's it. So it took time for me to understand. It means, you know, but it means evil. So I guess it just ended in my, at some point, um, Timber's uh, aunt walked away because when she saw the baby, she got emotional. But then obviously they wouldn't let them hold the baby, so she walked away. And um, Timber's cousin was sitting in the car because what, why did she say she didn't? There's a reason why she did not walk in. But anyway, you guys, listen, I don't know. I feel like there are things that they, I feel like the family, the families should be discussing things like, Mtwana is here. Mtwana Owenu. A relationship come upon November didn't work out. But what can we do as families to work something way? You know, we can communicate with each other, but we actually, even though we don't like each other. But I feel like when it comes to issues of a relationship, Katemba Nompo, like the fact that Umpo paid rent for Temba and bought Ama containers for Katemba. Uh, Utemba used to take drugs and all of those, all of those things. I think those are the things that where relationship things is got Temba nompo. I don't feel like uh, the the parents should be even talking about that. But the, all of those things were brought on. Okay, so when they were leaving, because they wanted to see the baby, even though at some point it got to a point where it looked like they are talking, they were you know letting each other talk. But at the end, because some poor that like, there's no way you're holding my baby. They started screaming at each other again. Okay. So Mpo was like, you know what? I don't want these people here. So I'm going to go and take a protection order against them. Okay. Guys, can you just take a protection order against a person, even though it's not like they're threatening your life or anything? Like, you just don't want. Can I just take a protection order against an ex, for an example, if I don't want them around? But they've, they have not threatened me or anything. You just, I just don't want them next to me. You know, I, I was like, I, what is, what is, how is she going to justify a protection order? Because they, they're not threatening her. They just want to see the baby. I, I wonder if it doesn't work like that. Okay. And then uh, she says, even if they go and they get a court order to see the baby, I have money to waste on lawyers. Okay. I was like, yeah. Oh. I wish that I could ever say a statement like that way. The statement, I have money to waste. That statement, didn't she? Hmm? I don't know if I'll ever get to a point where I can say, I have money to waste. That statement, I have money to waste. She says she has money to waste on lawyers, so she's ready for them. Okay. 
I'm like, okay. <sighs> Listen, you guys. I, it's hard for me to defend Utemba, even though I do believe that Umtana has to be able to see both the parents, you know, even if the relationship between the parents didn't work. But it's hard for me to defend Utemba in this situation because Utemba hasn't done much for me to defend him. And it kind of feels like even if I said, what's it, Umpo, I should allow Temba to see the baby. Temba will probably see that baby once a year. She, she, he will see it when he's shooting the show and then Anyamalale. So would it even be worth it for Umpo to even let him see the baby? Because he looks like that kind of a father, you know? So, yeah, no, it is, I know I am not defending him. So when they were asking him at the end again how he feels about the situation, he started praying. He was like, you know, I just feel like praying for everybody. <laughs> and then he started saying, our father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. I'm like, oh, it, 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 it's really bad when somebody doesn't know. It's one thing for somebody to not do enough, but it's really bad when somebody doesn't do enough, but they don't know that they, they're not doing enough. That is like the worst thing. That's the situation Mobile has where Temba does not know that he doesn't do enough as a father. Even when he when she tells him that you are not doing enough, he's not willing to hear her because he thinks he's doing enough. So he started praying. I was like, editors, they should have cut that ish. Okay. Come <laughs> pay for DSTV for our father. Hey, Bona, Tambel Dalangas, Bona, Bona Bandona, Coena. Anyway, I gave a fellow at Tandas, Temp. I was like, hey, this guy, hey, he has too many tricks. <laughs> Anyway, you guys, that's what I thought about this episode. It was my sleepy sleepy. But I, I do feel like, honestly, I did like the fact that Umpo did come in for a few episodes. It made the, the season worth even making it a season. Do I think that they should give them another season? Absolutely the hell not. Because Temba is and his friends are boring as hell. <laughs> are boring as hell. No. Mm -mm. This should be the last season. They should actually give Mobile and Mpo like a show that ra run, even though they don't, they're not friends, but they should give them a show where concurrently they, they're doing stuff and then Mobile is getting up to her own stuff and Mpo is getting, uh, you know, doing her stuff and then doing her stuff and then we just... And then Utemba just drops in here and there once a year like he does to come see his kids. They should do a show like that, like a totally new show. But Temba's show is boring. <laughs> Thank you very much <laughs> for the two seasons. Thank you so much, you guys. Tell me what you think about this in the comment section. And also think, tell me what your opinion is as far as Temba getting another season of the show. I know he needs the money, but sometimes for us it's not worth it if the show is boring. Thank you so much. In a tender,